is Kevin. I'm here from Magoosh. And I'm going to help you with the directions in the essay that you'll be writing for the GMAT. Specifically, we're going to look at one bullet point of how you're going to be evaluated. That bullet point says, control the elements of standard written English. And for some people, they wonder, what does that mean? What does it mean to control the elements of standard written English? Well, it means a lot of things. Um, obviously, it means writing grammatically correct. Obviously, it means spelling correctly, using punctuation correctly. But it also uh, has some other nuances. And specifically, I want to talk about burying your sentences. One aspect of good written English is having a variety of different types of sentences. Um, on this side of the board, you can see the four sentence types that we have in English. They're simple, compound, complex, and compound complex. We don't have enough time to really go into detail in this video about what these are, but I'll give you some examples right now. So, um, I have two passages here that say basically the same thing. The only difference is I've buried the sentences in this passage, the passage written in brown. So let's look at what it looks like with no sentence variety, and then we'll look at it um, with sentence variety, and you can decide which one you like better. So the first one, no sentence variety at all. This is all simple sentences. The sun touched the ocean. Birds flew over the waves. The breeze picked up sand. Dogs roamed the ocean's edge. Kids played on the beach. I watched the final moments of the day disappear. People began to light fires. I left for home. So in all of these sentences, we're beginning with a subject, like here, sun. And then we have a verb, touched. And then an object, the ocean. So subject, verb, object. Very standard form for uh, English sentences. But there's not a lot of variety in these sentences, and it's not very interesting to read. It has a very repetitive, almost monotone um, sense to it. So let's look at this other passage and see how it sounds differently based on having a variety of sentences. So here we're going to start with a complex sentence. As the sun touched the ocean, birds flew over the waves. The breeze picked up the sand, and dogs roamed the ocean's edge. Kids played. I watched the final moments of the day disappear, and as people began to light fires, I left for home. So the pacing is very different when you read a passage that has sentence variety. I have some really short sentences, one specifically that's just subject and verb, and that is in between a lot of other different types of sentences. Our first sentence here is a complex sentence. It starts with a subordinate clause, and then it's connected to a independent clause. Then the next sentence is a compound sentence. It has two independent, independent clauses that are joined by and. And then our last sentence is a compound complex, which is a combination of, guess what, a compound and a complex sentence. So when you're writing for the GMAT, think about having sensor, sentence variety in your paragraphs Try to vary it as much as you can because it will improve your style and improve your writing. All right, I hope you found this useful. If you have any questions, leave a comment. We will respond to you. Um, and head over to uh, magoosh.com backslash GMAT if you're looking for any other tips on the GMAT. Be excellent and have a good day.